handcrafted bookbinding. I'm going to show you the first stages of um, what it takes to make a book. I'm going to be counting, I've got some sheets here of some plain paper, which I'm going to be counting six sheets and I'm going to be turning them into um, sections or as the Americans call it, they call it signatures. So I'm going to be counting six sheets per section and then I'm going to be using what's known as a bone folder to crease the sheets for the spine of the book. And I'm going to be counting at least 10 sections before I start sewing the book. Normally, when you look on YouTube and you see the bookbinders doing this, they, they are able to speed the video up and uh, make it look really fast, but I don't have that option, so you're going to have to bear with me. But it will all be a learning curve. I've got six sections, I need another four to make ten. Here we are now, I've got my 10 sections, or 10 signatures. What I'm going to do is use my bone folder now. I'm going to try and let you see this on the camera, where I use this to really press the uh, folded side down. So that when I start sewing, it can be really um, nice and smooth. What I've got here is a little press that I've made. What I'm going to do now is knock the sheets up, knock the sections up together. And I'm going to put this into the press so that that will be nice and um, solid when I take it out to 
so the spine of the book. Give that a few minutes and the spine will be nicely pressed down and you'll see what I'm going to do next. I shall take that out because that would be firmly pressed down now and do is I'm going to put some lines here on the spine because I'm going to mark the holes where I'm going to need to put my needle through to be sewing the book. Now a lot of um, book binders we normally um, like measure the holes where we're going to put the holes but I'm going to not do that today I'm just going to eyeball it as, which is known in the trade for quickness. I'm just going to leave you for, for a second because I've got to go and get a tool. Right, what I'm going to do now is put some lines onto the spine of this book where I'm going to be sewing, putting my sewing needle through with the thread to sew the sections together. What is foremost important is when you're doing this, you've got to leave some space for the head and tail of the book for when you're, when you're trimming the book. So here we go. You probably won't be able to see this properly because I've got to take the book away. Right, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not gonna measure it or do any measuring. I'm making my lines now. And also I'm gonna be leaving a bit of gap for where in where I'm gonna put my tape through. These are little tape bands which uh, will make the the book the spine of the book strong. You'll see what I'm gonna be doing with Ben shortly.
Right, what we would normally do when we're punching the holes, we would normally be using a bradle, which I haven't got in my tin at the moment, but I'm not going to be using that today. I'm going to be putting the um, book back into the press so I can actually use my little saw that I've got here to... Um, just do some grooves where I've marked marked it out of the um, pen. So while I'm so saw, sawing the little grooves, the book will remain in place and it won't move. Just gonna turn the camera towards me so you can see what I'm doing. Right, I'm just gonna now saw this lip where I've put the pen marks. And all I'm gonna do is give it about an half of half an inch. Thank you. 
Right, so now I've cut my holes, I'm going to take the uh, book out of the press. And I've got my needles. I'm going to start threading it through with um, proper book binding thread, which I've got here. Now there's many ways of sewing a book, but binders they do it by uh, machine most of the time these days. But when you're doing it uh, by hand or hand crafted, this is the way it's done. And what I'm about to perform is a stitch that is known in the trade as um, kettle stitch binding. And I'll show, try and show you how it's done. Right, what I'm going to do is push my needle through the first end of the book and then back through this whole ear from the inside of the book of the first section or first signature. Then I leave enough thread at the end so I can tie it off and I'll show you how that's done in sh very shortly. And I'm going to repeat uh, the way I put the f uh, needle through the holes all the way through. You'll see the thread rumble up a bit but that's uh, very common when you're doing um, uncrafted sewing on the books. Right, this is where I start putting the tapes in. Right, I might have to cut it down a bit.
Right, that's the first section of the book. Now I'm going to be putting the second section of the book together. Or as the Americans call it, signatures. Repeat the um, sewing of the, uh, the signature from the other end of the book now, from the other end of the signature, going through the same way with the uh, pushing the needle through the holes of the book. I'm going to do now is tie the thread. And make sure that you pull it tight so all the thread comes through. Not too tight because you don't want to break the thread. then I tie a knot so it stays together. And then once again, I repeat the same uh, method of pushing the needles through the holes from the top of the book.
And then what I do, what we do at the split line is we, look, we push the needle onto that second section of the um, spine of the book, right, where uh, you'll see it just come through there and then you loop the thread over so that will knot the section in place and you repeat that all the way through. There you are. So that won't move now. And then you repeat that all the way with every se uh, section that you um, sew together now. Now I'm going to do the same here, push it under that section that I've done previously and you'll see it come out at the end. Then I loop the thread over the needle once again and pull it through. Now here's the bit I really don't like, it's when uh, you start to run out of the thread and you've got to re-thread your needle. But it does happen, it happens to every bookbinder, I'll show you how to do that now. because I'm getting a bit blind there. I can't see the eye of the needle. Right, there you are. And you tie, you make a knot and tie it as close as possible to not to the old that you're going to push the needle through once it's all tied together.
You just cut that little excess off. There you are, and then you can continue to uh, sew your book. Just keep an eye, because you don't want the thread uh, rumbling up. By rights, I should be really waxing my thread, but I haven't got any wax to, to do that, because the wax stops it from knotting up. Once again, you do the same process of uh, pushing your needle onto the uh, first section there, and then looping it over, then pulling it through. really enjoying doing this. <laughs>
Right, I've got one more section to sew there. Sew on after after this one. But I feel I'm gonna have to get some more thread as I'm running about out of thread here again once again. So I'll repeat the process of uh, re-threading my needle. You know, I do love um, going on Facebook and watching um, the crafters when they're doing these books uh, that they call um, journals. The way they make them up so beautiful and decorate them, you know, it's really, it's really nice what they do, you know. With uh, a lot of uncrafted work. Now I'm going to continue and finish off sewing this book. This is my last section I'm putting on the book now. And I'm going to finally tie the thread off 
at this last section, which I repeat um, doing the looping of pushing it onto the uh, last section there and pushing the needle out there and looping it over and then pulling it through. So now that it's all tied off very strong and the book, the spine of the book will not fall apart. Now that is the first stages of the making of any book that um, you know that you write in. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. The final process that I'm going to take you through is the gluing of the spine. What I'm going to do is place it back into the press. I've knocked it up, I've knocked the spine of the book up so it's all nice and straight so that when I glue it, it will be all straight. Put my press back on. Now what I'm going to do is the last bit of this video, I'm just going to glue the spine of the book which I've just um, sewn for you. That is the final stage of this video and when I do the next video I shall be um, showing you how to cover the books and put the nice cases on. This is what this book will look like when it's uh, all nice and dried. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me do this video. Take, fear, take care for now. And the next video I shall be doing very shortly. Bye.